So the start of the final term, Fremantle in a wonderful position to win their first match in the AFL. Burton to go, and Malloy is going to do the ruck work by the look of it early in this final term. Here's Waters, caught, dropped the footy, bit lucky I think. Play on called from the centre. Boyd has kicked three goals, comes to half forward, Pike and well played Edwards, who I think has been excellent since going into the back line after starting on the centre wing. Goes to Norwich at half back. He's one of the 11 players who I mentioned earlier who had had AFL experience in the 21 going into this game. Burton, now free kick going to Zanotti or no, to Burrows against Zanotti. That's undisciplined by uh, Zanotti. Burrows, ball holds up into the breeze. Wills sits and waits. Well played by Wills. Gets onto the left. Wobbles it to full forward. Bouncing footy and not a bad result. I reckon that's what Wills would have liked the ball to go out of play. Right up alongside the behind post with Fremantle deep in attack. They're in the left forward pocket. A goal here you think would break the lion spirit. Fitzroy can't afford Fremantle to score in this final term if they have any hope at all. Hawkins, a little give was okay. Mitchell's kicked a half back. McGregor. Then Boyd. Boyd under pressure from Allen. The two captains together. Paxman's give good to stretch. Stretch now the chance. A long kick up to the forward line. Looking for Johnson. Johnson in front of Leach. Punched on. Here's a chance for McCarthy back on the ground. Parker and McCarthy both trundle the ball towards the boundary line. And over it goes, about 40 metres from the Fitzroy goal. So when they move the ball very quickly, Don, it goes into that forward line fast. Well, it does, and that's the way forwards like the ball delivered because they want to get the drop on the back, man. If the ball can come in quickly, they can make a break. But when it slowly, comes in slowly, you really can't get away from your opponent if you're a forward. Burton, front position, in front of McCarthy. Tapped on, there's a chance for, for Jones now. Good tackle by Fitzroy. But he's a Terrier Johnson. Breaks clear for Baldwin now, a chance with Abraham. This will be a test of the two speedsters. Baldwin using his body. Oh, no, free there was kick. a free kick. Okay, plays on, gives it to Malloy. Malloy to Atkins now. Here's a chance into the goal square. Johnson the sit. Goes. Oh. Oh. This is a funny thing about the rule. Had he have taken the mark, it would have been paid. And because he didn't take it, free kick. Now watch this, he goes up. Now had he have taken that, that would have been a mark. No free. Well, he certainly got up high too, didn't he? Here's McGregor, centering kick, the disciplined thing to do to the front of the goal square. Oh, good mark by the kid. G showed a bit there. The highs and lows of AFL footy. A moment ago, standing on a bloke's shoulders and there having to take a courageous mark down low. And he's not a bad kid at that. It's good mark, wasn't it? O'Reilly was going to be right. always hard at him. He knew that. He laid a terrific tackle a couple of minutes ago, too. So Johnson surely to kick his first and to give Fitzroy some hope. He's got it. Well, his first and a real goal. We've seen that displayed today by the number of tackles he's laid, and they've been terrific tackles. Great to see a forward work like that, but more importantly, a young fellow who is capable of doing those type of things. Tackling, showing the defensive side of the game, but he's also got a lot of courage. He doesn't mind standing up for himself, too. 7-8 plays 14-12. Malloy and Burton out of the centre by Boyd. Good kick. It's cleared now for Fitzroy. Here's a chance now for McCarthy on the run. The gloves are back on. He's caught. Parker's a chance. Play on to the call. Atkins over to Pike to McCarthy again. The Fitzroy cannot break clear. Waters now. Waters to clear out to centre wing. Burton and Malloy again. Oh, Malloy, good use of the body. Maybe he should have been on earlier in the game, Don. What do you think? Well, he's been in wretched form, so that's why he started on the bench. Kicks up. Oh, good strong half by Pike. That's what we want to see. That's what Fitzroy want to see at least. Pike kick one here, I think, in the second quarter. He's only kicked one. He'll kick probably from 52 metres. Breeze behind his back. Or oh, toes it a bit. And through for one behind. One goal, three. Martin Pike. 
The wind has dropped a little bit here at the Western Oval. It was blowing from the north, blowing left to right early on in this game. They'd need a gale, wouldn't they, Fitzroy? At this stage, they'd want it to blow and blow. O'Reilly, not bad distance, as Don said. It's a, it has eased off. Hawkins, in effect, of Burton went to ground. Miller and Allen, pretty happy to see it go out of the line. Baldwin with him. Ben Allen today, 16 and 3. Good job. I mentioned earlier, I don't think he's as free as I've seen him. I don't reckon he's 100% fit. But he's still done the job. And one passage of play was memorable in the centre. Here's Abraham to Miller. Kicked a couple of goals a little over. Centre wing, Gilbert, who's been off the ground a bit. Man back to Gilbert. Now, can he get it inside to Wills? He does. Wills stops props. That's a very bad handle by Wills. Taken by Bizzotto. Awkward kick into the centre. It sits beautifully for Atkins. Squares it to McCarthy. Normally a long kick. Chips away. Out to half forward. Hogg has to go. O'Reilly's at the better. Hogg's going to have me, I think. He's in trouble, Hogg, with a hand. It didn't look as if he could run that freely when he came out and attacked it. Now, limping. Kick it. Back to O'Reilly. Out of play. Well, Hogg will probably come off, I think. Well, the old body's had it. He's just not moving the way he used to. Jeff Hogg, which is unfortunate. Sad to see, isn't it? Uh, former top liner really struggling in a club that's struggling and now having to come off rather ungraciously. Here goes O'Reilly from half-back. Burton has the sit. Ball goes over his head, off the ground by Zanotti. Punch clear by Parker. McCarthy's a chance. Atkins now. Boyd, good clever body work. Malloy didn't really attack it as fast as he may have should have. Johnson here to set it up for Atkins. Put under pressure. Atkins to Johnson. Great pace, Simon Atkins. Johnson, chance for his second. Puts it through from Fitzroy. Chris Johnson's second, but what a handball from Atkins. Involved in a couple of occasions, and it followed up, and I thought, well, this is an ambitious handball from on the ground. Now, what's this? Malloy could have gone a little harder. There's Johnson, the first. And there's Atkins to Johnson, who followed on well. Great passage of play, Fitzroy. He's still quite a de deficit. Johnson with two goals here, chipping away. The power of Atkins' handball there, the key was on when he went to ground. Able to still get it out. Miller, Waters. Quick goal here to Fitzroy, would really lift, but a free kick coming back to Scott Waters in the centre. Hogg went off the ground a moment ago. Wharf came on. It's 8-9 to 14-12, 39 points the margin. But it was out to 52 at one stage. Waters has kicked inside 50. Nothing positive happening out of all of that. Now, you can see Hogg here, uh, Don. Now, I don't know what injury it is, but there he is limping. Whether it could be the hamstring, I thought my Achilles, it could be really anything. Malloy goes, along with Mann. Miller had his hands on it and held up. He's 26, Peter Miller. East Perth, won the best of Ferris there in 1992. There are our umpires, Gavin Dorr, Steve McBurney and Tim Pfeiffer today. Ben Allen pushes it forward, Stephen Stretch, left foot round his body, and that's out on the fall. So, uh, bad result there for Fitzroy, and getting back Peter Miller to take the uh, free kick from that out of bounds on the fall. Miller decides to chip in, create some space. Jones plays on and kicks long into the forward line. Here's a chance for Mann. Zanotti over the top, good punch. Unable to clear. Allen around the corner, looks good. Over Wills' head, Hawking. Oh, good poise by Hawking. Zanotti has a look around, kicks short over the top of Stretch's head. Boyd got possession. Pizzotto on the run. Good mark by Pizzotto. Good vision by Boyd. Atkins again. Fantastic of Simon Atkins. 15 and 22. Over the top is Leach. Play onto the court to kick it. Parker again. Parker looking short for Burrows. Burrows can't mark. Ball still in play. Good tap on to Burton. Let's see some agile Burton. Off the ground to Zanotti. Zanotti fumbles. Plenty of time now. Kick around the corner. Here's a chance for Mitchell. Let's play on. Oh. Everyone stopped. Mitchell on the left foot up to centre half forward. Punch clear. 
Dent off the ground, good play. Paxman's a chance if he runs onto the ball. Pike around the corner. Fitzroy, another great goal. Three quick runs. They're not on the ball. And that's Pike's second. I think he conned the Fremantle players, and it looked like he was going to handball it off to Paxman. And here's the build up. The ball off the ground, and here's Paxman running to the right. And it looked like he was going to hand it off. But then decided to do it himself. His second goal, Martin Pike. Suddenly some respectability isn't there in the score. 9, 9, 14, 12. Waters out of the centre. Good distance into the breeze. Hutton's got it. He's always out in front. And took the mark, but you wouldn't fancy him from here. He's a straight kick of the football. Well, obviously you do, Don. Hutton's kick. Gee, you're a good judge, Don Scott. Remind me never to argue with you again, Scotty. Two goals to Hutton. And I think of any chance the Lions may have had a moment ago has dissipated with that one. 15, 12, 9, 9. Well, I was a little bit worried about the distance, but then again, I looked at the trees and there is no wind here at the Western Oval. But he is a very, very accurate kick for goal, John Hutton. He's made the most of his opportunities. He's kicked two goals, one. Peter Mann's just come off for Todd Ridley. Here's a chance for... That's Boyd, fresh air shot. Umpire doesn't call a high tackle. Kick it now. Round the corner. Stretch, Mark. Stretch plays on under his left foot. Finds Baldwin. Drive it in to the forward line. It's moved quickly, as Don said before. The forwards, that's the way they like it. Pike's in the sit over his head. Good mark to Edwards. Edwards now settles down, kicks it out to Waters. Got about 50 metres in front of him now. Waters elects to bounce once, kicks up the centre wing. Not a real good kick. Pass. Oh, it is. Oh, oh good, tackle. Good, stretch. Tackle. good tackle on stretch. Good tackle on stretch, yes. Ridley's a chance. Ridley waits it beautifully to Weldell Johnson. He chips it in very nicely to Wells. About 15 to 20 metres out. This will make it very difficult now for Fitzroy if Wills puts this through. You have to kick a goal. Goal, Wills. Kick looks good. It's a goal to Fremantle. That's their 16th. 16-12. 108 plays Fitzroy, 9-9-63. And here's the play, and that was a terrific tackle by Abraham. Should have been paid that tackle, but I suppose the advantage could have been played because Fremantle in control. And the chip, you could say loose play, but they drew a player by running down the ground, Fremantle, and it moves the chip over to Wills, who kicked his first. Margin back out to 45 points, 16, 12, 9, 9. Waters has been pretty good all day. Boyd out of the centre to Atkins. Tackled by Waters on him. And it's going to be a bounce. Waters has had 10 kicks, 11 handballs. Atkins 14 and 22. And Boyd, who was in the play also, is 18 and 13 and three goals. Malloy goes, wins it against Pert. Waters again. Bad handball that time. Ben Allen off the ground. Peter Miller at centre wing. Round his body. Gilbert overrun by Wharf. Gilbert onto his left. Kicks it into the pocket. Abraham, oh, good grab at the back. I thought he was out of sorts there. He's so clean, Abraham, in everything he does. He's got beautiful hands and a lovely kick. He's kicked three goals. He's only 20 years of age. Keeps it low, front of the square. Kick it was there. Bunched away, out of play. Well, there's still a little way to go. Under 10 minutes now, but this Fremantle team will be getting excited shortly because they're not far away from their first victory in the AFL. And what a tremendous uh, impression they've created in the three games to date. Hawking, 
I'm just thinking ahead, they've got Geelong next Friday night at the Wacker. That's going to be a big one. Andrew Wills, a big one for him too next week. As an ex Geelong, he and O'Reilly right to the goal square. Off hands, Malloy couldn't hold it, punches it away. Atkins, he must be dog tied. Out wide, Norris didn't get it far enough. Chips to Waters, takes the mark. At about 40 metres. Tell you what, Don, they'll give the Cats a run for their dough on Friday night at the Wacker. Well, yes, it'll be a very interesting game. I was just surprised that Atkins kicked in. I thought he could have made a better effort than that. Kicked it along the ground. Good kick, Waters. Got his first. Well, it was a bad mistake coming out of the back line by Fitzroy. That's a great kick by uh, Wills. Hard on the boundary line. At least he put it up into the face of goal, centered the ball. But here's Atkinson. Atkins running onto the ball. Really didn't look. As you can see there, grubs it along the ground. Easy for Norrish. Straight across to Waters, who made no mistake. 17-12 to 9-9. So, again, as we've seen in the second quarter, into the breeze, Fremantle have been able to withstand the challenge and then come away from Fitzroy. Stretches high ball to fall forward. Players caught out of position for Fitzroy, but not for Fremantle. And Stephen O'Reilly, another extra long, takes the mark. Goes out wide. Gee, Parker's been impressive. Over the top to Waters, who's gathering momentum as the game goes on. Waters out towards half forward. Wharf goes early, takes the finger ticker. Tipper, I should say, and takes the mark. He's just 18, this kid. Rowan Wharf. And that's really Fitzroy's future, isn't it? And they're youngsters. They've just got to keep going with them now. Nice mark by Pike. It's been a good pick-up from uh, Melbourne. Two goals today. Lots of kicks. That one low and neat to the goal towards the goal square. Free kick, I think, to Johnson, is it? Yes, it is to Johnson. And the umpire right on the spot to pay that. He was in front once again, Johnson. He was playing behind earlier today. And the free kick just right of screen. You can see him down. He was pushed in the back. He's kicked a couple, Don, and he really should go from here and does. So Johnson's got his third. And uh, Fitzroy get up to 10 goals. Burrows and uh, Johnson not too happy with one another, but uh, they'll forget about that in a moment. That's the first time Fitzroy's kicked 10 goals this season, so they've achieved a little milestone here today, at least 10, 9 to 17, 12. It's not bad at mouthing off, is he, Johnson, for a youngster? I wish I was as confident in him at this stage of his career. McCarthy coming off, Cook coming on for Fitzroy. Gee, you weren't bad in the mouthing off department. Not <laughs> at his age. Oh, Donny, come on. Ball is bouncing now. Malloy, Burton. Malloy, the good leap. Good job. Great tap. Over to Leach now. Leach and Johnson again, the man of the moment. Ball going over the boundary line, just on between centre wing and half forward for Fitzroy. Bit of a sting's gone out of it, Don, hasn't it? I was just wondering, what's the height of Malloy? Has anybody got that? Because he could play in the ruck. He's got a good leap. Well, he is playing in the ruck. Well, I know, yeah, but I mean, he could play as a yeah. permanent. They've used him as a shock trooper there today because they've used Cook, they've had Hawking, and now they've got Malloy. But he certainly does jump up well, Malloy. Well, the ball's just been punched out of bounds. And now they're 10 metres closer to Fitzroy's goal. Six foot three, 92 Ks. He could play in the ruck. Three mounted by 45 points. Seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Free kick to Cook. Elects to play on. Gives it to Boyd. Boyd kicking to centre forward. Looking for Paxman. Paxman, ball punched away by Jones. Good defence. Miller now, chance. Miller, worm burner. Finds kick it. Handball to Waters through the centre of the ground. Chipping as they like to Allen. Allen now, about 65 out from goal. Has a bounce. On his left foot, chips in short to Wills. Good mark to Wills, 40 metres out for the Fremantle goal. Chance for Wills to butcher his second. Just kicked one about five or ten minutes ago. It has done all right today for the Dockers, Andrew Wills. Wills from 35, 40. Waits it well. Does the wind bring it back enough? It doesn't. One behind. 
interesting to see uh, how Wills turns out this year with the Dockers. Yes, I think they'll be a little disappointed, Bruce, up until this stage. 10, 9, 17, 13. He played every game with Geelong last year. It was a surprising stat because uh, not the first man picked, but every time they played last year, he was amongst them. Wardell Johnson comes back to centre half for Gilbert underneath it. Gets a shove for his uh, troubles from Zanotti, but takes the mark. He's had a quiet one too, Don uh, Gilbert. He's been on off the ground, um, off the ground in the first half. I remember him trotting on with not much enthusiasm when he did come back on. Just a one kick, one mark, four handballs. Lacks a days a good type of player, isn't he? He's, he's got that. I mean, he's had his back turned to the goal as he went back then too. It's a good kick. He's got the goal. So Gilbert's first goal and a free man up to 18, 13 to 10, 9. Just thinking, Don, he's one of those players, he, there's a lazy look about him and he may be doing his best and you, you might be a bit yes, critical of you. him, but he's got that laziness about him, just the way he plays it. Yes, he has had a groin problem. And here's a build-up once again. Getting away is Gilbert. He's a solid player. Zanotti, very lucky not to be penalised on that occasion. But that's his first goal. Phil Gilbert. Detroit 10 9 plays from Metal 18 13. There's a chance now for Stretch. Oh, a good follow up by Stretch. Handball out of the pack. Gives Fitzroy the advantage. Leach now off the ground. Oh, Jones. Good, tough, strong backman. Burrows has the run now. Burrows twist and turning. Zanotti into his back. Is he hut and held? Kicks it off the ground. Wills and Baldwin. Ball bounces towards the boundary line. Not a chance. Three or four metres around from out of goal. I think Fitzroy are holding a few of the sore spots at the moment. They've been a pretty tough game. They've all thrown themselves in. Burrows, Abraham. Baldwin, round the left foot. McGregor, round the corner. Oh, good well, tackle by Wills. Well. Dispossessed. Zanotti, dodging. Over the shoulder. Chance for Burton, can't mark. Waters, oh, strong tackle by Fitzroy. It was Cook on top of Waters, a ball up on centre wing. They look pretty tired, Bruce. Yeah, they've worked hard, 18, 13, 10, 9. But uh, I reckon Fremantle will be able to break the four-minute mile. Four laps around here after the siren goes. Though The adrenaline will be pumping so high after the win. Atkins to centre half forward. Ridley's hip and shoulder. Dent's going to run out of mates here. There's just no one back there to help him. Good take by Leeks down low. He's been impressive. Goes out to Ben Allen wide. Will it sit? It does. What a great player he was at Hawthorne. Best and fairest in their premiership year in 91. Had nobody kick to kick it to, so he kicked it to the space. Wharf gets it back. Again, the Fremantle tackling's been good. Atkins sweeps it out wide. He must be high in the best players. Here's Wharf. Comes out towards McGregor. McGregor inside to stretch. Gets around Norwich this time. Neat looking kick out wide to half forward. Marked by Dent. Started it to half back. Goes for, towards goal. That's a good kick. It's a goal. Well done. Well, I didn't know whether Dent was going for the pass or going for goal because he had a pass from Paxman who gave him the lead. But then decided he'd go himself. Now they could have overdone it here a little bit. The kick could have been sufficient, but then it was a great delivery by Stretch across to Dent. Stretch could have given it off to McGregor, but there, fairly casual kick for goal, but he had Paxman, hands on, knees goes Paxman, so obviously he's done a lot of running. It's his first goal, Don, in league footy, Dent. 11-9 to 18-13. Waters, that's his 13th handball today. Over to Leach, been a good player all day as well. Miller again. Fremantle had a lot of top players. Wills now running around opposition players. Goes for a bounce on his left foot from about 60 metres out. Chips into Burton. Straight on the chest. Burton plays on and puts it through. Very good play by Burton. Well, I watched Malloy, his immediate opponent, trotting back in the centre of the ground. What's 
No, it's a free kick that obviously brought back. There's something happening behind play. That goal disallowed. That's confused everyone. Well, we're on the wing. Allen's hurt himself. I think he's got kicked in the fingers. McGregor finding Boyd. Boyd about 65 out. Can he get it in there quickly? Goes very long, looking for Dent. Punch clear by O'Reilly for a behind. I think the free kick was against Gilbert, just the way he's been talking to the umpire. It must have been for Shepard or something off the ball. Behind play, yes. Yep, because it was a confusing... Bad luck too, because the big spider kicked a very good goal, which would have been his second. Here's Miller from the back pocket. 11, 10, 18, 13. Atkins goes to ground. A free kick, surely. Will's hanging on. So Atkins from half back. What are his stats today? 23 handball, 40 positions. Simon Atkins, half forward, I should say, goes in. Good uh, lead by Paxman and nice stretch and mark. Great kick, too. Yeah, he's been good, Atkins, no question about that. So Paxman going at uh, his first goal today. Not known as a goal kicker, more as a defender. Bad off the boot. Umpire goes away at the end and says just the one behind. 11 11 to 18 13. Paxman with a point. That's his first score for the day. Got a minute and a half remaining. The Dockers are going to win their first game in the AFL against the uh, hapless Lions. Ball comes out wide. Norris the target. McGregor with him. Almost out. Boyd slings it back in to Dent. Certainly hasn't been the worst. Nice chip pass. Mitchell didn't go far enough, obviously. To Waters. Waters gives it back towards Malloy. Malloy now from 55. Pumps it into the square. Now it's a great looking kick, but only offline to the left. Only one behind. Malloy goalless today. Spent most of the time on the bench in the first half. Fitzroy players got their hands up once again above their heads as if they're standing the mark. Edwards over Allen's head. Pushing the back to Atkins. No, it's not. Pushing the back to Waters. Waters chips over to Allen. To short of centre wing. About a minute to go now. Players looking very tired. Boyle holds up in the air. Jeff White, great mark over Malloy. Obviously White's not that tired. Kicks up looking for Burrows. Oh, it's all a bit too easy. Zanotti just stood there and watched him. Burrows plays on, runs around too easily. Kicks up into the forward line. Punched out by Pizzotto. Barker to clear. Barker finding Zanotti, about 50. Zanotti doesn't, doesn't, can't mark the ball. Chips into Johnson, come up from the forward line. Been active this quarter, he's already kicked three. Johnson chipped into centre back. Dougie, Dougie Hawke has been very quiet. Here's someone that hasn't been quiet, is Simon Atkins. Drives up forward. Looking for Dent over their head. Rush for Edwards. O'Reilly hurt himself too when he came down. Edwards along the ground and out of bounds 50 metres from the Fitzroy goal. He's holding his knee. It looked as if he jarred his knee. There he is. Looks okay, Don. Throw in. 50 metres out from Fitzroy's goal. Punched by White over his head. Wardell Johnson can't make a clean possession. Boyd handballed to Mitchell. Rushed onto the boot. Leach and Paxman. Leach is the, the quicker. There it is, the siren. Historic win for Fremantle. 18-13, 121 to Fitzroy, 11-12, 78.